As that special day approaches, it's important to remember the reason for the season, a man who would bring knowledge and wisdom to all mankind. I'm talking, of course, of Sir Isaac Newton, a father of physics and inventor of calculus. Praise be to him tomorrow. But for today, we have a light but insightful cannon fodder article. This week brings us information on the four new ship designs seen in Halo 5. As I'm sure many figured, especially in light of the descriptions for the Covenant vehicles, the new ships are of Sunghealy design. I once said they didn't really feel very Covenant, and it seems I wasn't wrong. In contrast to Covenant ships, often built with multi-purpose functionality in mind, Sunghealy vessels are often created to fill a specific role. And where the San Shayun preferred elegance, the Sanghili, as we've learned, take designs from their natural worlds with hulls built to intimidate. With their often more advanced ships destroyed, broken down, or locked in combat in distant systems, these old Sanghili designs have been suddenly pushed to the front lines to fill gaps on both sides. We start with the 6,367 meter behemoth known as a brigantine. During the time of the Covenant, these massive ships were often assigned to exploratory proselytization teeth fleets. Since the Great Schism, the Brigantines have since been pressed back into frontline service, fulfilling the roles of both heavy carriers and fleet command ships at the same time. Next up is the 2,819 meter Carrick Merchant Cruiser. To the great surprise and fortune of the Sanghili, these ships have proven to be effective and resilient troop and material transports. After that, we have the familiar blockade runner, measuring 2,020 meters long. Their design sacrifices armor for speed and firepower, but despite this, modern Sanghili shipmasters have been sending these ships on ground support missions. Old war stories speak of a blockade runner known as Jory's Moon, named for one of the three suns Sanghelios orbits. During the War of Beginnings, this legendary ship was said to have evaded capture and destruction numerous times, and following the writ of Union, jumped into the black, never to be seen again. Sort of reminds me of the Usan Sanghili from Broken Circle. Just a bit. Finally, we have the Man o' War, measuring 526 meters long. Created using Forerunner secrets from before even the War of Beginnings, the secrets of the ship's design and capabilities remain heavily guarded to this day. Covenant designs, in many ways, were never quite able to equal the power of this ship. In addition to descriptions, we also got a wonderful scale comparison of these new ships next to several familiar ones. Jeez, and we thought Infinity and the Assault Carriers were big. Look at the Brigantine! Christ! And with that, we end the main article and come to our one universe entry this week, the caretaker of the Genesis installation, 031 Exuberant Witness. Exuberant was installed by the builders to maintain the installation systems and guard the secret domain passage kept there. When the Halo Array fired, she was given full control of Genesis. Not long after, she halted the production of Seed Worlds and put the planet in a dormant state. As we know, that dormancy was interrupted when the Domain Gateway suddenly became active 100,000 years later. Cortana appeared, made a deal with the Warden Eternal, took control of Genesis, and began her plan to reclaim the mantle of responsibility. From there, Halo 5. And with that, we come to an end. Thanks for watching as always, have a happy holiday weekend, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.